Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to October 1st, the first day of the fourth quarter for 2019. Yep, year is coming close to an end, and here we go. TLT advances the lead to 29%. Let's go to the charts. There we are. So TLT here. Now notice TLT owes Tigers $105. Yes, the Tigers League is outbeating Alpha. Yeah. Little, little tiny here. Tigers are kicking butt. So that said, $105 for the Tigers, and they're at $135. We are $20 to the good. And also, that puts TLT in contention of being retired off the losers list down to the winner's circle. All righty, moving on, we have our next person, our next one of interest is IYR. This YRR is the ETF for real estate, and it actually is, has fallen back from where we were when we closed up here on Monday down to here. It was 743, it's fallen down to less, it's fallen down to 120, so we're at 623 owing. But we still keep with our long defense. We're in long defense on this play until it earns its way to get into in into this zone. And when it gets into here, then I'll be shoring up the stop to midfield. And I'll be bringing in my midfield kickers for a field goal. And the field goal will be only if we have to. Remember, this is like playing football, but with, some, with a different set of rules. Rules number one, is you start with a long defense. Rule number two, you're going to go into in midfield and to hold on to once you get into once you get into a profit and significant profit. 10%, 30-29% is not enough for me to move my move my defense up. I need more. Uh, then when we get down to we get close to the hundred ROI, then we'll be looking to what does it um, so many yards to goal. I forgot the proper term, but that would be the uh, that that would be the final. Thing. Our goal is to cross the goalpost at a hundred ROI. That's the goalpost. Uh, and you've seen if you guys been following me from a couple of weeks ago, you know we get it does happen. I mean, here we're sitting at twenty nine percent on TLT, twenty percent IIR. Who knows what happens tomorrow? Moving on, we got Pepsi in play. And Pepsi owes a lot of money. I'm not gonna, you know, it, we're not. It, it owes the Tigers 275. There it is. Tigers at 275, and I'm going to go and look at my spreadsheet on the other side on my secondary monitor and confirm that we have we have a Pepsi at 275. And Pepsi, where are you? Oh, I can't find it fast enough. And I really don't want to spend a lot. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. I'm not, I'm, I'm in Eiffel. There are, there's Pepsi. And Pepsi is, oh, there it is. 275, that's a confirm. 275. What happened was Pepsi had two winners in in this year. It came in with a profit of 263, then lost 351, then gained back 122. And we're now with 275, and Pepsi is at 90, is a, is $97. So, 100 bucks, we'll make it. All right, going into the laggers, and uh, you know, you got you got your team on the field, but somehow they just not get in their act together. And our lagger, our first lagger on the field is Walgreen, and it's a real staying above the 30 and is trending up. But it's still not anywhere near our danger zone. Our stop is here at the 50%, which is 140, and it's 170. So it still has about a dollar. It's almost, I don't know, it has about, about a dollar 40, 60 cents, about 70, 80 cents of buffer before it gets taken out at 50%. Going to T minus. Oh, yeah, T minus. You guys, you guys been with me long enough, you know what this is called. The jalopy insurance kid. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. Oh, well, it is what it is. We are in long defense. We're down. We're still down here in this zone uh, against this. It's closed below the moving average. Uh, so it is what it is. 
uh, going on to Spy. Spy joined the game yesterday, and it's turning out to be a little bit of a disappointment already in the start of the game. I mean, look at that. That's uh, not cool. Not cool at all. And there's my notes there about rounding in and rounding out. And so uh, we're here sitting at a 535. This was a pricey position. We got one. Sh we got one in. It does owe the Tigers 308, but now it's going to the Tigers 308 plus another 300 on top of that. Ah, come on! But there is a good chance that our long defense has moved up. As you can see here, our long defense has moved up. So uh, this is the marker for the 50% drop. I would have to look at this in more detail in my analysis and see if it warrants moving up the uh, long defense from the 50% to about here. So that's going on at the Tigers League. Let's go on now over to Alpha. Alpha is not doing greatest either. Uh, we only have one leader in the Alpha, PG, and not doing very good in that either. It's uh, it's a terrible market. PG owes 867 to the Alpha, and it's up 96 bucks. I have six contracts. This is a larger, slightly larger account than the Tigers. Um, but that said, it's uh, it is what it is. 100 bucks, you take it off. Like I said, we're not going to be able to do a killing on these large O's, but we are going to be able to hold our own and and uh, chip at it. Going into the laggers of the alphas, oh, this is really a heartbreaker. Uh, moving on, Nike. Nike had such great potential, but look what happened here. This is really strange. Now, Nike owes us, owes the alphas 10-10, and we're here, and my long defense is still down here, and um, all the lower indicators are not too cool on us, but we do have a... We do have a stop limit of 280, and Nike's at at 550. So we still have about a dollar 30, no 230. We have about 230 in protection. So uh, we'll see. Um, no hope, no opium. Just read the numbers. Moving on. XLK. XLK comes in here. It owes 268 from a dead loss leader. Remember, we are going after a low-hanging fruit. We're not going after those big ones until the time comes. And the, and the plan of attack is make your account big enough and capital that when you play this, you'll be able to, even if they have the slightest move, I mean, look at that. We're looking at nine contracts here. The slightest move, this goes up a dollar. That's a dollar on 900 contracts, that's $900. That wipes out that three and gives us back six. So that would be the uh, that would be the anticipation. Um, moving on now to for the quad, quad graphics, quad graphics owes the alpha account 418, and it's staying above the line. But it's look it's very eh, it's disappointing. It's it's it's, it's, slow, it's not it's slopey what I would call slow be slow moving along. But we stick to the rules and that will be pretty much all to it. Uh, combination, we're about maybe 1400. Yeah, we're about 1400 short. All right. Again, now that the jalopy here at the alpha account. <laughs> oh my goodness, the jalopy. Please do something. I don't care about it. He said, "Go forward and make money, or get out, or get off the field." I need, you know, I I need to get other team members on the field. He put you back on the bench. Uh, yeah, talk about bench. Uh, we are still 67 on the losers list. Uh, that said, let's go on to PGR. PGR, what came off a of scanner, and uh, it's. Not doing too hot right off the scanner, but it is what it is. It, now, remember, it doesn't really owe us 500. Because this came off the scanner, it didn't come off the losers, so it didn't owe us any money. I only put the 500 there saying, you know what? If you're going to spend my time chasing you down, you're going to pay me a 500. Now, well, I got, it'd be nice to get the 500, but the real bottom line is, is that I need to have a, a benchmark uh, so I can work on this. So we'll start with the 500. We'll take what we can. 
it is uh, a little bit bouncy, but we'll go on and see what happens next. Coming down into Monster, and as, as I mentioned before, Monster and uh, T minus are a pair. They, they, you know, they, these two guys should really get their own garage. Uh, remember, I got into this trade only to try to get back that, and here's my limit. Uh, my limit says the long distance is right there. Look, and if I get hit, well, I get hit, and uh, Monster would be 775. It's still a lot less than what it was a couple of weeks ago, but still, it, it, it would have to go to continue being in the losers. And then because of the additional loss, it will go uh, up the higher level of the losers list, which means, remember, I'm only going after my low-hanging fruit. That means we might not come back to visit Monster for maybe one or two months, depending upon when... The, the cycle of opportunity comes back again, and if anybody else, it beats it out. So we take our buying power, and then we look at our buying power, then we look at our options, and then we see, do we have enough money to buy contracts? And then if we don't, we don't. If we do, we do. All right, closing off the alphas, we're into XLB, the health sector. Um, this really is supposed to be a good time for the health sector, but apparently uh, not doing too well right now. Uh, who knows what's anchoring it down, but there's a nice little encouragement down here that this is sort of flat binding. And if the MACD is flat binding here, <clears throat> you see the curve of the 30 day coming down, possible break up this way. Again, it's only a 410. So uh, we got to get 410 and we're come 1235, number one, then get 410 and then we can we, we can take the lost leader L I F L I F S, who is a dead lost leader, and I'm not going to get the money back from them. I make L X L B pay for it. So that concludes our report for today of the winners and losers. And I thank you very much. Uh, it's football season, and uh, I wish you all your favorite teams win. You know we have their winners, we have our losers. Um, this year, last year. Um, just enjoy the game. I enjoy football because I like the plays. I'm more into the plays than I am more about rooting for a team. So um, I enjoy, I root for the team that, that can execute very good plays. All right. With that said, I thank you very much for attending the Winners and Losers. <laughs>